This video only covers selected highlights of the Remunity Pump user guide and is not intended to replace the user guide. For complete details, including warnings and cautions related to the Remunity Pump, refer to the user guide. For safety information related to remodulant, please see the end of the video and the full prescribing information. In this video, we will cover different kinds of pump alarms and what they mean. When your pump needs to notify you of a change or problem, it will do so through one of two methods, either an alarm or an attention alarm. This video walks through a list of some of the alarms and attention alarms you may encounter. Refer to your user guide for a more detailed list. Alarms are more urgent than attention alarms, and they have a flashing red and white header, like the pump failure alarm shown here. Alarms like this stop delivery and should be addressed immediately. Always check the system for alarms and attention alarms when you are in an environment where you cannot hear or feel the remote or hear the pump. A pump failure alarm means your pump is broken. You'll need to switch to your spare pump and request a replacement from your specialty pharmacy. Attention alarms have a flashing yellow header. These do not stop delivery, but they should be addressed as soon as possible. The delivery stopped attention alarm tells you delivery has stopped. The deplete soon attention alarm will notify you when a cassette will be depleted within two hours. When your surrounding environment is excessively noisy, the excessive noise attention alarm warns you that medicine delivery may be impacted. Your pump relies on technology using sound sensing to deliver a steady and continuous dose of medicine. Areas with too much noise, like a loud concert or a crowded store, may impact medicine delivery. Move to a quieter area to avoid the alarm reappearing. If the pump and remote have not communicated with each other for two hours, the no communication attention alarm will appear. This may be caused by wireless communication interference. It will ask you to verify that the pump is delivering. Press the X'd out bell to silence the attention alarm. Then, press the check mark to acknowledge the attention alarm. To verify that the pump is delivering, press and hold the blue pump button until you hear the three-tone sound. When you hear the three-tone sound, place the pump and remote within 12 inches of each other until communication is restored. The top of the remote home screen should change to green. If communication is not restored, Move at least three feet from cell phones, Bluetooth devices, equipment that sends or receives radio waves, and Wi-Fi equipment to restore communication. Then, take the following steps as necessary. If the pump does not make the three-tone delivering sound, change the cassette and pump battery. If communication still cannot be restored, gather your spare pump and see the Paired to a Spare Pump section in the Menu Functions chapter of your user guide. When you go to your spare pump, contact your specialty pharmacy to request a replacement. You'll receive a pairing failed attention alarm when the pump and remote fail to pair. This may be caused by wireless communication interference. Move three feet away from cell phones, Bluetooth devices, equipment that sends or receives radio waves, and Wi-Fi equipment, and repeat the pairing process. If this alarm is displayed continuously, contact your specialty pharmacy for assistance. The pump idle attention alarm means that the pump has not been delivering medication for 15 minutes. Press the X'd out bell and then the check mark to acknowledge and clear the alarm. To address the pump idle attention alarm, press and hold the blue pump button until you hear the three-tone delivering sound. If the pump does not make the sound, see the pump idle attention alarm section in the alarms and attention alarms chapter of your user guide. The pump battery low attention alarm appears when the pump battery will be depleted in eight hours, or when the pump battery does not have enough charge for a full therapy. The remote battery low attention alarm tells you when you need to recharge your remote. Remember to always fully charge your remote. You'll receive the software version error attention alarm when the pump is not able to deliver medication. Press the X'd out bell to silence the attention alarm. Then, press the check mark to acknowledge the attention alarm. Gather your spare pump and see the Pair to a Spare Pump section in the Menu Functions chapter of your user guide. Then, contact your specialty pharmacy to request a replacement pump. The Tech Attention Alarm will appear if the remote encounters an error. Press the X'd out bell to silence the alarm and scroll through the alarm information. This alarm is not an emergency, but it should be reported to your specialty pharmacy. If this alarm repeats, 
See the Pair to a Spare Pump section in the Menu Functions chapter of your user guide for instructions on how to switch to your spare pump. Then, contact your specialty pharmacy to request a replacement. The walk-away attention alarm means the remote and pump are out of range from each other. If this alarm appears while you have your remote and pump together, there may have been a wireless communication interference. To re-establish communication, try moving three feet or more away from cell phones, Bluetooth devices, equipment that sends or receives radio waves, and Wi-Fi equipment. Remunity Pump for Remodulin Tropostanil Injection Indication The Remunity Pump for Remodulin Tropostanil Injection is intended for continuous subcutaneous delivery of Remodulin Tropostanil Injection for use in adults greater than 22 years of age. Important safety information for Remunity Warnings and cautions Do not use the system outside the conditions listed in the user guide. Retain the user guide for future reference. Refer to the user guide for all warnings and cautions. Failure to comply with the following warnings and cautions may result in harm. Limited to use with Remodulin. Only Remunity cassettes may be used with the Remunity pump. Remunity pump is for use only with FDA-cleared infusion sets. Medtronic Quickset Infusion Set, MMT-392, MMT-393. Medtronic Silhouette Infusion Set, MMT-373 and Smith's Medical Clio 90 Infusion Set, 21-7230-24, 21-7220-24. Do not use disposables from previously opened or damaged sterile packaging, damaged disposable components, or expired sterile components. Discontinue use of the remote and switch to the spare remote in the event the remote fails to operate. The use of cables, batteries, and battery chargers other than those provided or specified may result in increased emission or decreased immunity of the Remunity Pump infusion system. Do not disconnect the pump from the cassette while the cassette is connected to the catheter. Avoid exposure of your pump and cassette to temperatures below 41 degrees Fahrenheit, 5 degrees Celsius, or above 104 degrees Fahrenheit, 40 degrees Celsius. The pump may affect nearby electrical and electronic devices, including medical devices, cell phones, Bluetooth devices, RFID readers, Wi-Fi equipment, and strong magnetic fields, causing these devices to operate abnormally or to stop functioning. Do not open, crush, heat above 140 degrees Fahrenheit, 60 degrees Celsius, or incinerate the pump battery or remote, as doing so can lead to fire or rapid spreading of fire resulting in harm. This system supports flow rates between 16 microliters per hour and 225 microliters per hour. If your flow rate is outside this range, discuss with your healthcare practitioner. Prescription information. Caution, federal law, USA, restricts this device to sale by or on the order of a licensed healthcare practitioner. Use of this device without the training and supervision of a healthcare practitioner may lead to errors that result in harm. See the Remunity Pump for Remodulin Traprostanil Injection Pharmacy-Filled User Guide for further detailed important safety information including warnings, cautions, and instructions on how to properly use the system. For further information, please call United Therapeutics Corps at 1-877-864-8437. The Remunity Pump for Remodulin Traprostanil Injection is manufactured for United Therapeutics Corps. You may report side effects to the FDA at www.fda.gov slash medwatch or call 1-800-FDA-1088. Remodulin Tropostanil Injection Indication or what is Remodulin? Remodulin is a prescription medication used to treat adults with pulmonary arterial hypertension, PAH, WHO Group 1 which is high blood pressure in the arteries of your lungs. Remodulin can reduce symptoms associated with exercise. Remodulin was studied mainly in patients with NYHA functional class 2 through 4 symptoms. It is not known if remodulin is safe and effective in children. In people with PAH who need to switch from epoprostenol, remodulin is approved to slow the worsening of symptoms. Important safety information for remodulin. Before you take remodulin, tell your healthcare provider if you have other medical conditions or take other medicines that may affect your use of remodulin by increasing the risk of side effects or decreasing the drug's effectiveness, have liver or kidney problems, your remodulin dose may need to be adjusted if you have liver problems, have low blood pressure or bleeding problems, are taking gemfibrozil for high cholesterol, rifampin for infection, or other drugs that affect liver enzymes, your doctor may need to adjust your remodulin dosage, are pregnant, breastfeeding, or planning to become pregnant. It is not known if remodulin will harm your unborn baby or if remodulin passes into your breast milk. What are the serious side effects of remodulin? 
Continuous intravenous IV infusions of remodulant delivered using an external infusion pump with a tube placed in a central vein within the chest are associated with the risk of bloodstream infections and sepsis, which may be fatal. Therefore, continuous subcutaneous SC infusion delivered just beneath the skin is the preferred type of delivery. Worsening of PAH symptoms. Do not stop taking or greatly reduce your remodulant dose without consulting your doctor. Low blood pressure. Symptomatic hypotension. If you have low blood pressure or are taking drugs that lower your blood pressure, the risk of low blood pressure is increased. Bleeding problems. Remodulin may increase the risk of bleeding in people who take blood thinners, anticoagulants. What are the possible side effects of remodulin? In clinical studies of SC infusion of remodulin, most people experienced infusion site pain and infusion site reaction, redness, swelling, and rash. These symptoms were sometimes severe and sometimes required treatment with narcotics or discontinuation of remodulin. IV infusion of remodulin delivered through an external pump has been associated with the risk of bloodstream infections, arm swelling, tingling sensations, bruising, and pain. The most common side effects seen with either SC or IV remodulin were headache, diarrhea, nausea, rash, jaw pain, widening of the blood vessels, vasodilatation, and swelling from fluid retention, edema. These are not all the possible side effects of remodulin. Call your doctor for medical advice about side effects. You may report side effects to the FDA at www.fda.gov medwatch or call 1-800-FDA-1088. The risk information provided here is not comprehensive. To learn more about remodulin, talk with your healthcare provider. Please see full prescribing information at www.remodulin.com or call customer service at 1-877-UNITHERE, 1-877-864-8437.